Hello, I am Seamus Donahue of Eve University, and I am going to cover how to read the price history graph in the market. If we go to Neocom and market, uh, we let's take an example. I'm going to look at 10 meganewton afterburner twos, the Tech Two cruiser size afterburners. If I left-click that entry, at first what you see are the buy and sellers. But if you look at this tab, Price History, and you left click on it, you can get historical data about this item in the market in this region over the past whatever time period you select. You can look at the bottom here, left click this menu, and select that time period. You can limit it to just the last five days, which given the way it's drawn might not be terribly useful. Maybe you want to have it at least 10 days or a month, just for the sake of making it readable. You can extend it about as far back as a year. Data older than one year is not available from the in-game market. So you can set the time period over which you are looking at the prices. Uh, the first thing you should probably take note of is the average prices, and that's the yellow dots that are going across the graph. Oh, by the way, the dates are listed across the top. The most recent is always at the right-hand side, so this is today. And these are the dates here across the top, 10th of April, 24th of April, 8th of May, 22nd of May, 5th of June, 19th of June, 3rd of July, and so on. And these are the prices. Now, the price, anything relating to prices goes according to the primary y-axis, which is on the left-hand side of the chart. So the prices have been generally stable around mm, 1.2 million ISK per Tech 2 cruiser-sized cruiser -sized afterburner, with a recent jump in price over roughly the past five days. You'll notice that each dot is also... You know what? Let me hide things. Might be easier to explain this if I don't. All right, we got a blank chart. Right click, show the median day price. So these are the median prices. All right, uh, and for those of you who don't remember the different kinds of averages, the mean, median, and the mode, by median is meant the following. These items, many of these items were sold, bought and sold through different market orders at different prices throughout the entire region. They weren't all bought and sold at the same price for that entire day. And right, so some people bought it at a somewhat higher price, some people bought it at a somewhat lower price. The median price is the price in the middle meaning that half of the afterburners that were sold on that day were more expensive than the median, half of the afterburners were less expensive than the median. So that's the median. When most people talk about an average without being more specific, they usually are talking about the mean average. That's not what this is. This is the median average. So this is the median average price for that item on each day. If you right click and show min max, you'll then get a series of vertical yellow bars. And this is the complete range of prices at which that item was bought or sold on that day. For example, here on what looks to be roughly, is this April the 30th? Hold on, let me show table. I can click the show table button and take a look at it. Let's see, April, there was a pretty high, here we go, April the 28th. Let me go back to show graph. So on April the 28th, somebody, somewhere, bought an afterburner for 2.2 million ISK, and as low as 1.1 million ISK. The median was somewhere pretty low. So half of the afterburners that were sold were sold in this tiny little span down here. The other half were sold in prices somewhere along this high span. All right. So this is the full range of prices at which the afterburner was bought and sold. 
For those of you who are interested in the moving averages, you can right click and show the five day moving average. Now what is meant by the five day moving average is it takes these five median points for each day and it calculates the arithmetic mean of them. Okay. It's essentially a trend line it's, and it's meant to allow you to see a general trend without all of the up and down noise that takes place in the market every day. All right. So this is going to be smoother than the actual raw data points. All right, so each point on this line is calculated as the arithmetic mean average of the five previous days. So you take this price, that price, that price, that price, that other price, add them up, divide by five, and you plot that value on this red line. Similarly, you can right click and show the 20 day moving average which is exactly the same thing except over the past 20 days. So the way it gets this point on the green line is it took that price 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. These 20 points, it took the values of these 20 points, added them up, divided by 20, and plotted that as the result. So that's the 20 day moving average. Again, the moving averages are to allow you to see general trends over time while ignoring the day-to-day -day noise. If you right-click again and show the Donchian channel, uh, the Donchian channel basically is a representation of how much, is another visual representation of how much volatility there is in the market. Uh, so. Basically, it shows how noisy the various transactions are uh, throughout the region. Uh, finally, if you right click and you show volume, that shows you how many units of that item were sold on that day. So as you can see, in Metropolis, Tech 2, Mega Newton, 10 Mega Newton Afterburner Tech 2s, uh, you can expect maybe 40 of those to sell throughout the region on any given day. All right, prices are plotted against the primary y-axis on the left-hand side. The volumes are plotted against the secondary y-axis on the right-hand side. So these volumes, so this is 40 units per day. This would presumably be about 60 units per day. Down here is 20 units per day. So though that's the information you can get for the price history of a particular item, item in a particular region. Again, this is limited to your current region. Right now I'm in Metropolis, so I'm only seeing the price history of 10 Mega Newton Afterburner 2s in Metropolis. If I want to know how the price history, prices have been behaving in Sync Laison, I've got to get in a ship, undock from the station, cross the border into Galente space, go into the Sync Laison region, and look at the market in Sync Laison. Right, so I can't look at uh, price histories for a region I'm not in. Now you can get this in graph form, or you can click the button Show Table, and you can look at the numbers in table form. And if you want to, you could uh, hit Control A to select all. Hmm, I wonder if it's possible to paste this. I'll have to experiment with that with that a little bit. See if I can hit Control C and then see if I can paste it into an ordinary spreadsheet. I'm not sure if that works, but you can get the you can get it in table form if you want to. So that's the price history data. I hope you find this information useful. In the meantime, thank you for watching.